going to be talking a little bit about group chats, group messaging, the power of them. And this was touched on a little bit last Friday when Micah Stinnett brought up um, the fact that um, Lisa, uh, Lisa Whitman was using group messaging, group chats to help club members uh, sign up other club members and or promoters, um, getting their products free and building their business in that way. So um, that prompted this. Uh, so thank you, Micah. Thank you, Lisa, for doing it. Thank you, Micah, for uh, talking about it last Friday. And that prompted me to want to bring this up this week. I want to spend about 10 minutes sharing uh, a little training on group messaging, group chats, a little who, what, when, why, how, and then let you hear probably more importantly from a couple people that are actually doing it and having amazing success building their businesses. Um, so with that being said, um, let me just first real quick say congratulations to everybody that has stepped up in the last month. My goodness, it's incredible. We've had what, four or five new managers. We've had four new senior managers um, and a new Emerald director, Lisa Whitman being one of them, or the, uh, the Emerald director I'm speaking of. Um, but new managers, we had Gloria Palmer, Madeline Taylor, Guy, and is it Laya? Laya? Leah? Maybe Leah back. Uh, Stacy Zeller, Sonal, and new senior managers, John and Brittany Lott, Todd and Angie Seaford, Thomas and Shelly Titus, Jen Case, who you'll be hearing from as well on this call. And again, new Emerald Director, Lisa Whitman. And top 20, those of you that are in the top 20, um, what is there, there's four, five, six, seven Wisdom Builders team members in the top 20. And I'll show that to you real quick and then we'll roll here. Um, there is the, I think I counted right, seven. Uh, Mike and Brian Stinnett in 20th place, Joe Isett in 11th. Hope I didn't skip anybody there, I don't think I did. Um, eighth place, Brian and Carrie Foss. Fifth place, uh, Nicole and myself. Fourth place, Jen Case, again, who you'll hear from here shortly. And Dell and Veronica Partridge in second. Katie, Catherine, and Elijah Votberg in first place. So congratulations to each and every one of you. And uh, that being said, would love to, uh, would love to, uh, let's see here. Was my screen shared? Did you guys see that? No, I don't know if I even showed that. You saw that? Okay, good. Um, let me get something else on the screen because I want to show you something to look at while I'm talking um, that I was hope, hoping would be helpful as we talk about this conversation of group messages, group chats. Um, let's see here. I want to be there and I want to share that. Let's see if I can do this right. Share screen. And uh, you know, it's crazy. I've done this so many times with Zoom and I still feel left-handed every time I do it. I don't know if anybody can relate with that. Maybe it's just me. Um, that would be this one. Maybe it's because I have two screens. I always get confused between screen one and screen two. There, how's that? Okay, so I want to start with, um, there, using group chats on Messenger, which also can be used on text or email. It's not limited to Messenger, but I want to tell you why uh, I prefer personally Messenger, um, but using group messages, you know, um, we still use three-way calls or last night I was just on a three-way Zoom um, with some uh, a newer member in our team um, who is, uh, had, had a, a business prospect who had watched the webinar and set up, scheduled a three-way Zoom with me and we did that last night, Todd Seifert, um, Todd and Angie Seifert, and that was great. Um, but what and those are amazing. Three-way Zooms, three-way calls still work, but I want to talk about three-way messaging, and I'm going to call it group chats or group messages, because this is something that is a very untapped tool and resource that I feel like we've talked very little about, and as evidenced by the fact that very few people on our team, as great as the success is, that we're seeing throughout our team, we haven't even employed the strategy very well or very much. 
Um, so I think it's very, very important and, and probably a super great time to be talking about this. So that's the conversation. So for anyone on the call that's saying, what is a group chat? I want to run through this really quickly and then more importantly, get let you hear from a couple of people that are doing it and how they're doing it, why they're doing it and the kind of results they're getting. But a group chat is simply a group message that's going to include you and it's going to include your prospect. Okay. It could be your club member or your promoter, but we're going to start with prospect and a third person. And that third or more could be more than three people, but at minimum it's going to include three. And that third person more than likely is probably going to be your upline, your sponsor, but it could be sideline. It could be anybody but you. Okay. So that what well, we're going to use this, our sponsor or upline it, because that's probably the most common use of it and show you how, sorry, I didn't have that on the screen. There you go. There's number three, a third person, um, show you how that's going to work. So, First, I want to say, why is a group chat? If you're wondering why, why would I even need to do this? Why is this even important? It might be important to understand the why before we get to the hows and the wherefores. Number one is it adds credibility. If these aren't things you've thought of, now's the time. This next five minutes, if you can focus on this, this is something that could be worth gold to you and help a lot of people in your life and your business. It adds credibility. It's like the three-way call adds credibility. When you can three-way to somebody else who's been doing it longer, knows more, even if they haven't even been doing it longer, even if they don't even know as much as you know, it adds credibility because it's somebody besides you saying it. You know, Luke uh, 424 says a prophet is not even accepted in his own hometown. There's a principle to that that is true. Obviously, that came out of God's word. We know it's true, or I believe it's true anyway. Um, is that, you know, familiarity when we're familiar with the person, we don't respect and listen to what they say as much as a stranger oftentimes. And that's kind of sad, but true. So it adds credibility. It too, it shows a bigger picture that it's not just about you. It's not just you or me. It's not just us and our little home-based business. It shows a bigger picture. Whoa, there's support. She has a team. She has other people helping her, right? Number three is you don't have to know it all. It takes some pressure off. There can be questions asked of the third party um, that you may or may not know the answer to, and you don't have to have all the answers. And on that point, um, they may ask you some questions, or they may ask the upline some questions or this third person some questions maybe they would never ask you. Now, vice versa, yes, they might ask you because they're close to you, some things they would never ask somebody else. But it works the other way too. Someone they don't know, they might be more free to ask some questions they wouldn't want to ask you. So there's another benefit. And as you're on these three-way messages, just like a three-way Zoom, just like a three-way call, you get to listen, be a fly on the wall, and learn from somebody that um, arguably, potentially has more knowledge, more experience, and hopefully will maybe handle some of the questions and the communication um, in a way that's that's uh, worth learning from. So those are some benefits. Also, I don't know if I have this on the screen or not, but um, it, it's, I, I guess I missed this point, but this is a huge point is everybody, whether they're thinking about the business or not, is going to judge your business based on what you do with them. Everybody does it subconsciously or consciously, right? And everybody has the same questions. Is this real? Is this legit? You know, could I succeed doing it? You know, and would I have any help or support or would I be all on my own? Like those are some of the questions consciously or subconsciously everybody has. And when you refer to a third person, you put someone in a group chat, what does that do to them? What does that say to them about how hard or how complicated this business is? You didn't have to have all the answers. You're not all by yourself. You have support and somebody helping you and they're consciously or subconsciously going to go, I could do that. Put someone in a group chat, ATM them into a Facebook group, send them a video and put them in a group chat with somebody who has a vested interest in my success and me helping people and will help me. Man, I think I might be able to do that, right? Our percentages of club members and prospects that would be open to a business that they could see themselves doing is going to be greater. I don't know how much greater, but greater. So there's another reason why it's important. So who gets put in, the, in, in a group chat? Number one, prospects. That's the context of what I'm talking about right here. But I just want to say real quick, it applies to members and promoters as well. 
So how does this work? I start a conversation with somebody. I ATM them into a Facebook group. I tag them in some posts of things that are, because we've had conversation of whatever they're dealing with, weight loss, depression, whatever. It's all in there, right? I tag them in a post. I tag them in a video, a presentation, a Zoom health talk. Maybe I've invited them to my online Zoom health talk. Whatever the case may be, I've invited them to, I've got information in front of them. And now I'm going to put them in a three-way message with my ideally upline, okay? Again, it could be anyone, but my upline. Okay, that's the context of a prospect. But club members, once they sign up as a club member, they're already, they, this has already been done when they were a prospect, hopefully. But if you have a new club member that, ha, that, that wasn't done, do it as a club member. And we'll talk about this here in a minute. And, and Jen can speak to this here when she speaks, but introducing your new club members to, to your upline. Okay, promoters, how about this? Ideally, the promoter was a pro I mean, every promoter was a prospect at one point. They got a three-way group chat back then. But when they become a promoter, how about a three-way chat introducing them to a group chat, introducing them to their support team? Hey, um, Susan, welcome to the team. Just wanted to introduce you to, you know, our friends and sponsor, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. -and -so. You know, they're all here to help you. I can't wait for you to meet them. Something short and sweet. What does the upline say? Hey, welcome. Glad to have you on the team. If I can be of help, we're here for you. I mean, it doesn't have to be complicated. So it's for prospects, it's for members, it's for promoters, new promoters on the team, okay? Um, so when do you do this? Back to prospects, I covered this already. After you send them information to view, whether that was ATMing them into the Neolife Healthy Living Community Group, Facebook group, whether that's ATMing them into the Ideal Business Neolife, uh, business prospecting Facebook group or both, um, depending on you know where their interest level is of what they're open to learning about, or after a, you've invited, they've seen a Zoom online health talk, or maybe after you've met with them one on one. That was talked about last Friday, and Micah being so great at that, uh, or recently I heard that maybe it was Tuesday, Thursday. I don't know. All these meetings are running together, but anyway, um, after they've got some information, you know that's when we're putting our prospect in a three way chat. Typically, we're not putting our prospect typically, I mean, obviously it's your business, you build it however you want, is as the very first exposure. You know, I meet someone, the very first, I'm not using my upline to, to present for me. That, that's very limiting, right? My upline can only present to so many prospects at a time. I want the Facebook group to present. I want a Zoom online health talk to present. I want the testimonials in the Facebook group to present. I want the videos to present. But once I've given that to them, that's when I'm putting them in a, my prospects in a three-way chat, um, ideally with, with our upline, okay? So that's when. Um, we already covered that. Sorry, that wasn't on the screen either. So there's when, after you present to them. So how do you do a group chat? And as I start to wind this down and uh, let you hear from a couple other people, um, real simple, really, really simple how to do a group chat. Number one, or A. You introduce this prospect of yours to your upline. And when you do it, there's no magic words to say, there's no magic script, but this is what I will tell you. Edify two things. You wanna remember edify or brag on, if you like that word better. Brag on or edify your upline, your prospects, I mean, I'm sorry, your sponsor, right? And find common ground. You know your sponsor and you know your prospect, hopefully, what do they have in common? And introduce them with that in mind. Your, 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 your uh, sponsor is a parent, your prospect is a parent. Well, then I'm probably gonna say, my sponsor has X number of children, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm gonna try to find common ground. Ground, it's important. Um, a profession that they can uh, identify with, anything they can identify with. Um, and number B is then we're going to introduce our prospect, right? I mean, just making an introduction is all we're doing. And again, everybody wants to be bragged on. And sincerely, we can do it. If we're looking for a way to compliment somebody, it's not that difficult. Introduce your prospect then in that same message to your upline. Hey, prospect is awesome. They're this, they're that. We met here and spent, you know, blah, 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 blah. They're looking at the business. They're looking at the business. They're looking at the products, whatever they're looking at. I've 
put them in the healthy living community. I put them in the ideal business neolife. They're looking at this video. They came to a Zoom. We did a one-on-one. -on -one. Whatever it is you did, say it. And I wanted to introduce them to you because I know you've been doing it longer. And I thought that, you know, you may be able to help with any other questions they may have. Not that you're put pawning them off on your upline. You're just opening a door to another path of communication with another person besides yourself that they may walk through. They may not walk through. It doesn't matter. Okay. And C, the final thing or three is invite the prospect. Hey, and feel free to ask any questions of upline. They, you know, know a lot more than I do. They've been doing this longer than me or whatever. Boom, short, sweet, to the point, okay? So that's how you do a group chat, not super difficult. Um, so what does the sponsor do now? I'm the sponsor, somebody puts me in a group chat, I'm like, you're the sponsor, and one of your club members or promoters puts you in a group chat, what do you do? Well, you just respond, and you, there's no magic formula, but it could be something as simple as this, right? If I'm writing a message back, I don't have to tell a story, I don't have to write a book, doesn't even have to be this long, but here's a sample message of, hey, prospect, nice to meet you. I look forward to, I'm going to move this off my screen because I can't see half of what my words are here. There we go. Uh, I look forward to getting to know you and hearing your story. You're in great hands with Susan. She's doing an incredible, I mean, I'm going to take the opportunity, I hope, to brag on my promoter and edify her. I mean, I want people looking up to her. I want her prospects looking up to her or him. She's doing an incredible job helping so many people. I'm happy also to answer any questions you may have after you check out the Facebook group or groups. Um, hopefully she, I was told what she got ATM'd into and watch some of the videos. Please let me know if I can help. That's it, simple. And as a tip, the reason why I say I like Messenger better than ch text or chat is for the simple reason that Three reasons for me. I can do Messenger on my phone. I can do Messenger on my computer. I'd rather type on a keyboard than on a phone given the choice. And Messenger is a really easy transition either one, number one. Number two, you put someone in a group Messenger uh, text or email, they can't see the person. Is this a real person? What do they look like? I mean, are they, you know, slick willy or are they like a regular mom like me or a regular dad like me or a regular who human like me that likes to fish or that has a life or likes to fly or likes to work out or whatever. Well, with Messenger people, what are they going to do? Who is this person? They're going to click, go right to your Facebook profile and go, oh, it's a real person. I just added a face with a name. Can't do that in text. Can't do that in email. Can't even do that on the phone in a three-way call. And that's a second reason why I like Facebook Messenger. And I know not everybody has Facebook Messenger, so not hung up on Messenger. Um, but that's another one. And uh, the third reason eludes me right now, since I didn't write down a note for that. But there, I remembered thinking this through. I had three reasons. But that's why I like Messenger, okay? All right. So, oh, audio. That's, it's right here on my screen. You can use audio Messenger. You can slip in, you can personalize a message and communication back and forth with a prospect with audio messenger. And it's so easy to use, okay? And if someone has an Android and I have an iPhone, I can't do that in text. I can do it iPhone to iPhone, but not iPhone to Android. But through messenger, doesn't matter what phone they have, what computer they have, it doesn't matter. That's the third reason. I can use audio messenger. So that's my personal reason why I like Messenger three uh, for those three reasons. That's why I prefer that. Um, and the genius of it all, the gene, you want to know the genius of it all. There's a few geniuses to this whole three-way messaging, but the genius of it all. And I touched on this early is, or is duplication. It's duplication. We want to duplicate. We want, when we sign up club members, we want to help them get their three for free. And I'm going to turn it over to Lisa here to talk about that here real quick. But when you, when you, we want our club members to get three for free and they need to be able to A, conceive of something they can do and B, you know, it's got to be something they, anyone, you know, that they can do and that they can believe they can do. And, and, and also when those people are looking at the business, if something's super complicated, it's going to eliminate a huge percentage of people looking at our business. But if we can keep it simple, Show we have support, show we don't have to know it all, we don't have to be a walking encyclopedia, which this ties right into supporting that, 
that you don't have to be a walking encyclopedia, that you don't have to know it all, a greater percentage of club members and prospects are going to go, hmm, maybe I could do this business. And that's when we get the power of leverage. And that's when we have, you know, exponential growth and exponential impact and exponential income increases in each of our businesses, which I know we all desire. Um, so with that being said, Lisa, I so appreciate you being willing to spend a couple minutes sharing what you're doing. Lisa has a little different spin on it that is beautiful and um, obviously effective. Uh, em New Emerald director as of April, I guess, last month, right? Yep, a few days ago. And crushing it, doing an amazing job. We talked about three for free, or Josh did last week, helping club members get three for free. So this is kind of a little spin off of prospecting directly, as I'm talking about but it's in that same vein of the power of a three-way message. And Lisa, would you mind spending a couple minutes sharing what you're doing to help club members get their three for free? Yeah. First of all, happy birthday, Alan. I don't know if you yeah. wanted people to know it, but happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, I'm also going to tag team with somebody who is brilliant at this. That's on my team now, but who wasn't on my team. Uh, so Sonal, if you could unmute yourself, um, if that's okay, Alan, I'm going to have her weigh in because she's been my amazing example. So if any of you have ever taken a pre toddler or a toddler um, swimming before, you know there's typically two different types of people or kids. There's the one that will walk directly to the deep end, get on the diving board, and jump in fearlessly into the deep end of the pool, right? So you've got those people. And then you have the other people or the kids when you take them swimming that are just going to put their toe in the water. They are not going to put their head under. They're not going to even get down to their knees. They are not going in the deep end of the pool. So I want to speak specifically to those people who are toe dippers because the ones that are jumping off into the deep end, those are easy peasy. What you want to cultivate or what I wanted to cultivate is ambassadors or referral partners. And I will use my friend Sonal as an example. When I first met Sonal, we had a quick conversation about health and wellness. She was already taking a, a probiotic. And I said, that's great. If you ever have questions about, about you know, other things, then I would love to talk with you about that. As it's turned out, this is what I said to Sonal. I don't want you to sell a thing. I don't need you to sell one thing for me. What I would love is when you come across people that you know either have an interest in health and wellness or have a problem with something in their life that's health related or are just curious around better nutrition, will you just um, tag me in a text or in a Facebook message together and introduce them to me either in messenger or in text or in an email, because we do a lot corporately, and just let me have uh, an introduction to them. I will then take it away, keep you linked in, keep them obviously engaged, and then we have either a text conversation, a continued Facebook Messenger conversation that may end up growing into a, a three-way Zoom call, a three-way um, you know, Messenger conversation. Maybe it's directed to a video, maybe it's tagging them into the Healthy Neo Life page, any number of things um, to keep them engaged, and she still remains an ambassador. She's kind of being the bridge between these two really great people that she values and respects, and she doesn't have to sell anything, but she's growing her business because anything that her friend purchases, any products that they get involved with, they go underneath her um, as a club member and eventually as a promoter. So, um, Alan, if it's okay, I'm going to let Sonal speak just really, really briefly, Sonal, if you can, and tell everybody why being an ambassador or a referral partner worked well for you and how you do it. Lisa, while she's, uh, before yeah. Sonal goes, can, um, can you let me know, would you, I asked Lisa, for everybody else's sake, I asked Lisa if it was okay for me to show an example of a message that um, one of our customers or club members used to set this sort of a thing up. Should I show that now or after Sonal shares, Lisa? After Sonal shares okay. for a couple of, because I think that'll be a perfect segue. Thank so, you. So, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, awesome, because I have a little six-year-old screaming behind me, so <laughs> I apologize for that. No, um, Lisa, it's simple. Um, I, I believe in you. I believe in what you do, and I'm that human that if I believe in the person and I have trust in them as I do for you, 
then I'm your ambassador. That means anyone and any, everyone that I come across, I love people and I love connecting people. So it's easy. My, my intention and vision, honestly, is I keep forgetting that I get to earn off of it because trust me, like everyone else, I could use it and need it. But that's not my intention. I come from a space of, oh my gosh, these people can be bettered. And, and even if it's not in purchasing something, anyone that I know gets into health and wellness, I immediately connect them to Lisa. Lisa, I have three more emails coming your way, by the way, today. Perfect. And uh, it's easy. It's easy for me to be an ambassador for people when I believe and trust them. So my message and takeaway from that is build your relationships and find the people that believe in you. Um, and don't, don't take this uh, in any other way, Lisa, but don't do anything wrong because whatever you do, I believe in you. Like I don't even go check on it because it's you. So I'm really ambassadoring, being an ambassador for my friend and what she values and believes in. So um, I, I'm not sure if that's what you guys wanted to hear on the call, but that's my soul, heart, and intention that goes into every human that I bring forward to her. Yeah, thank you, Sonal, so much. So what Sonal has done is she basically tees up conversations with people that are important in her life, and she tees them up with me because she trusts me, thankfully, um, to be able to have people's health and wellness and their nutritional needs in mind. And it's a beautiful relationship because then I can continue the conversation you know, I'll drop in little memes about health and wellness. I'll drop in fun memes with that three-way conversation. And she can remain that uh, neutral ambassador and never has to move into a salesy role if she doesn't want to move into that place. But she's benefiting with products and she's benefiting with revenue. So go ahead and Alan, kind of share um, a, a recent three-way chat that Sonal teed up for us. Can you see that? Yeah, so this is what Sonal did. Um, Sonal did a quick text message or Facebook message. Uh, Hi, Lisa and Dave, that's her friend. I wanted to send this text so I can introduce the two of you because I think that there's some you know, great connections here with both your passions and health and wellness. Then she introduces David to me, tells me a little bit about his background and what he does in health and wellness. Then she introduces Dave to me and what I'm interested. And then she just literally wrote on your mark, get ready, get set, go. And so I knew that that was my cue to take over and you can move to the next slide, uh, Alan. And so I sent uh, a message to Dave and I said, hey Dave, I'd love to talk with you further. Would you like to continue this chat or would you like to hop on a Zoom call? And he said, yeah, I'll hop on a Zoom call, send me an invite. And so Dave and I now have a conversation set on Zoom where I can get to know what his area of interest in in health and wellness and I can share what Neolife is all about and we might be able to create some synergy and you never know. I don't even know Dave's last name. So it's just Dave <laughs> at gmail.com. Um, and, uh, and I'll get to know him a little bit better. He may end up being one of the best ambassadors, referral partners, promoters that we have on our team. And it's all thanks to Sonal and her way of gathering people together and teeing them up. So it's all just about finding ambassadors who are willing to connect others with you. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. And Sonal, thank you so much for being willing to share. Uh, and again, Micah, I don't know if you're on this call or not today, but thank you for bringing up that. And I knew Lisa was doing that, but um, it was not front of mind until Lisa reminded us of that. Let me stop your spotlight there, Lisa. Sorry about that there. Um, until I heard uh, her share that last Friday on this call. So thank you. We are a team. We need each other. I appreciate everything. Um, that each and every one of you bring to this team. And uh, it's awesome. It's super exciting to get to be a part of. Um, the last person I want to ask to speak here is Jen Case. And then we'll, um, I know we're about out of time here, but I'll open it up if anyone has any comments or maybe you have some best practices that you, you want to share really quick. We'll just have to make it brief. But Jen, um, brand new promoter. Uh, well, brand new as in this is her, May is her uh, and her husband, Matt, second uh, month, second full month. And um, you might have noticed the name. She's number four on the top 20 leaderboard. Let's see. Am I sharing my screen still? No, I'm not. Let me get out of this. Well, here. I can't see. Where is Jen? Okay. Jen, are you there? Can you unmute? Are you there? I'm not seeing. I'm unmuted. Hi, oh, Alice. Yeah. Okay. There's a picture of you. I see a picture of you. You got your video off. Okay. Cool. Um, there I am. 
Where are you? Yay. Okay, cool. So there she is. Here, I'll spotlight you. But no one needs to look at my mug while I'm talking. Let me say a couple more words and I'm going to turn it over to you. But there's Jen. Okay. So anyway, second full month in the business, rocking it. Uh, made senior manager in April, you know, rocking her way towards director this month. And um, anyway, Jen, I asked Jen to just share her experience because as I told Jen on the phone not long ago, I said, you know what? Nicole and I drop balls like everybody else, and, you know, and you've heard, we've all heard Josh on trainings going, hey, you know, I'm teaching on this, and sometimes I don't always practice perfectly what I preach, and I say the same. I mean, I think if anyone's honest, we would all say the same, and we drop balls too. I told Jen, I go, but we just keep picking them up, and we keep juggling, and when we drop them, we pick it up, and, you know, Jen's a few weeks into her business now building and um, it wasn't until, you know, not that many weeks ago that we're like, hey, you know, three-way messages. And we started talking about this and this can really benefit you and trying to paint a little bit of a picture and probably doing a lousy job describing it, honestly. Um, thus, the reason for this training to hopefully give everybody a little better chance of having an edge in this marketplace and helping a whole lot more people. But all that to say, Jen has been putting people in group messages. Um, we've put her in a group message. And um, I just wanted you to spend a minute or two, if you don't mind, Jen, sharing your experience um, for everybody else. Sure. Um, first of all, thank you for having me on and happy birthday, my friend. Um, so my disclaimer is that I just since the beginning, I feel like I've just been trying to be a sponge, taking all this information in and not, you know, I'm horrible about following directions, but progress, not perfection. Um, so my first 20 club members, I hadn't even put them in any kind of group chat until Alan, you had said, Hey, don't forget. And I thought, Oh gosh. So, um, just in the, just the last few club members that I've signed up, I've realized how beneficial it is because it speaks to the heart of this company and the people and not so much about just getting numbers or signups or quotas, so to speak. And to be honest with you, my first initial thought was, Oh, I don't want to bug you with that. Um, you've got so much going on. I don't want to have to put you in another email or another group chat. But um, to be honest with you, it's it's blessed my heart to see you communicating with these people because I can talk about you guys all day long until I'm blue in the face and tell these people, oh, they've been on this product for 20 years. But I just feel like, like you said earlier, you put a name with a face. I mean, you're real people. But if I talk about you, it's like, you know, I even had my dad say to me that you guys were like celebrities. And then all of a sudden you reach out to them. And it just, it's, I'm not, I've never been a salesperson. I've never been in sales. I'm a people person. So I just feel like, you know, the more I build on these relationships and the more, and, and also you guys making yourself available, that's huge to me. It meant so much to me this morning that you would put us into a group chat with Josh Clark. Um, again, time, making yourself available. It's just super beneficial to just you know, and I, I backed myself in a corner one time because I was in a situation where I um, kind of went above someone and I reached out to somebody and I knew that and, and I really kind of got ridiculed for it. And that was in another ML, ML, MLM situation where it was like, that's a big no, no, because again, it's about the money. It's about the quota. You don't do that. It's like it's but but for you guys, I feel like you making yourself available to to the people that I, I sign up these club members. It makes them feel like, wow, they really want to, they're invested in Jen. Not only are they invested in Jen, but they want to invest in us. So it's just, um, it's person to person, it's relationships. And I'm, I'm, I run with my heart. My husband, on the other hand, he's got a master's in education. He wants facts. He wants research. He wants science. I'm like, blah, 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 you know, and so um, I don't have a, a medical degree, but I, I will say I feel, I believe that I have a big heart and I feel like I just, I want to reach people. And I think that's why God's given me this opportunity. And, and I, I hope, I hope I'm doing good. I feel like I'm doing good. And it's just because I want so bad for people to know about this and so anyways, I'll do better. I'm, I'm, I'll do better with the, uh, with, you know, putting you all in the group chat. And, um, but I think it's so, so, so beneficial. I've noticed it just in the last two weeks. It's made a huge difference than the first 20 that I had signed up originally a few weeks ago. So anyways, I hope I made sense. And yeah. um, thank yeah. you for asking me to share. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jen. Appreciate it so much. Appreciate you being willing to come on here and share. And uh, I know everybody, you're in for a real treat when you get to meet so many more of this awesome community, many of which you see here on the screen. 
um, besides and beyond Nicole and I, and they're all in for a treat to get to meet you as well. So I can't wait for that to Thank happen. You. And start Thank you. getting together for events again. But in the meantime, I'm thankful for uh, Zooms too. So this is wonderful. Um, thank, you. thank you. And so, yes, one thing I will say, and then I will open it up here real quick before we shut it down, is when Jen said, because I've heard this before, when Jen said, I felt like I didn't want to bug you guys and you guys are busy, blah, blah, blah. Think about this. I want everybody to think about this for a minute. Your new promoter or club member for that matter is talking to people, bringing them into your world, introducing them to you, sharing resources with them to help them have a better chance of maybe signing up and getting started, improving their life and becoming part of your team. Is that going to be a bother to you? Is anybody going to have an issue with that? If you're getting, if I wake up to 10 group messages to deal with for the day or a hundred, do you think I care? I do care. I'd rather wake up to a hundred. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I think you all feel the same way. And what's beautiful about it is those hundred group messages or those six that day or that one or whatever it is, it's not on a timeline. You talk about fitting in the nooks and crannies of a busy person's day. Group messaging sure does. There's no schedule. There's no timeline. You respond in a timely manner, hopefully the same day, whenever it's convenient. Isn't that beautiful? You don't even have to schedule a three-way call or Zoom in this context. So never, I guess the point is never, ever, 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 ever feel bad to put your upline in a group message. So long as I would only say one thing, so long as you gave them some kind of information to begin with, that upline isn't your presenter all the time, right? That's just not duplicatable. No one has the bandwidth to do that on the kind of scale that I hope, not hope, I don't care how big or small a business someone desires to build, but I think many on this call desire to have a big impact and build a big business. And we only have so much bandwidth. Group messaging fits in that very well. So long as we're giving some, the prospect, the tools too. Okay. Anybody have anything to questions, comments, ads to add to this conversation before we shut it down? It's good stuff. I'll wait just a minute. I know I saw Rebecca. I haven't seen most of these comments coming in, but I did see Rebecca say she loves group chats. Anybody else doing them with success? Any tips or tricks that we left out uh, that sh others should know about doing group messages or group chats that you've experienced? No? I'll or say something. I just, off. if I could give, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead, Rebecca. If I could give anyone a tip, I would say don't put more than three people. I don't know if you already said that or not. My connection is bad. But don't put more than three people in a group chat. Um it can get out of hand. And then some people don't like being in big group chats. I've learned that. Um, I used to group my club members together, you know, to send them information before I created an email list. And um, I would get some messages, you know, like, oh, please, can you please remove me from this group chat? Um, so yeah, I would just keep it under three people if I could give any tip. Yeah, that's, that's good. And the con, thank you, Rebecca, I appreciate that. And the context of this is one prospect or club member yourself and your sponsor or some sideline member if you think that's a better call you know maybe someone doesn't have a sponsor that's active or somebody who's really in it to win it and help you all out because they're distracted with other parts of their life right now so maybe it's a side the third person maybe is a sideline person that's like Dude, I like you. You like me. We can work together. I'll put my people in your chat, you and mine and mine and yours, and we'll work together. We have nothing to gain financially from each other because we're sideline. We're not upline, downline, but that works just as well. You know, you can do whatever works for you, but I, I appreciate that. I mean, it's one prospect or club member that not, not a bunch of them, not in that sense of group chat. Um, and then your upline or your sideline. Anyone else? Guess I should open the comments. I wasn't looking at comments. Here we go. Anything in the comments? I know. And Nicole's playing a key role in this too. Nicole's awesome at it. Um, what would Nicole say? I just had one of Jen's club members reach out to me this morning and it's not Neil Life related. She obviously feels comfortable now that we've had an introduction thanks to Jen. So you get that? Nicole just had someone reach out this morning 
that's um, that's somebody that Jen had three way message to Nicole about something not even neo life related. How cool is that? These are real relationships and connections. And there's so many other benefits to it. I didn't even go into, but you know, if, if something happens, if somebody between you and a couple generations of these people, if something happens to somebody in the middle, they get sick, they, they, some, something happens that takes them out of the game for a period of time. Life happens. It happens. It will happen to people in your team. When that happens and you have no relationship, they never introduced you to their people. You have no relationship with them. How do you continue that? How do you support their business when they never even introduced you to them? And now they're hospitalized for 90 days or they're, who knows, they get called to a missionary out of the country for a year. I don't know. Things happen, whatever. They just get distracted, whatever. You have no relationship with them. You know, this way you can, you, you, it's, it, it's smart. You, you put, you get your upline who's in it, has your best interest in mind. They only win if you win and you introduce them to your people and it's just, it's a good, it's a good thing. What else do we have here? Anyone else? I'm reading comments, I'm not just staring you all down. Uh, okay, I think that's probably all the questions, comments. All right, we won't drag this out, we're over time. Guys, thanks for joining us, I hope this was helpful. We'll get it posted in Wisdom Builders, um, hopefully later today, so you can tag your team and ask them to start putting you in group chats with their prospects, so you can help them speed up their impact. Have an awesome rest of the day, everyone. See you guys. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Jen, for sharing. And Rebecca, thank you, everyone, for joining.